angel is saying to you, Dear God, there's so much happening this month that I come to you in prayer, asking for strength and patience and rest. Between Mother's Day and graduations of all kinds, we're going to be running around, and I don't want to lose sight of you, my God, in the midst of it all. I ask for this month to go well, for me and for my family. I humbly ask this in the name of the Son, Jesus. Amen. Father God, thank you for your patience and grace toward me. Search my heart. Show me the way to go. I choose to obey your voice quickly and honor you in all that I do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Father God, though I act arrogantly at times, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I continue to open the door of my life and receive you as my Lord and Savior. Continue to take control of my life and make me the kind of man you want me to be. Help me to be more forgiving, tolerant, and merciful. Thank you in advance for these blessings. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Father God, thank you for making me capable of great things. Help me to see clearly through confusion so that I will do things that glorify you. Remove from my life all the things that no longer work for me so that I have room to receive all that will. I trust you already know what I need and are manifesting my prayers this very minute. In Jesus' name pray, amen. Amazing and awesome Father, I give you thanks for saving us who trusted in you. We don't need them to be afraid. In danger, you are our shield. You promise to give us power and help because we are weak and powerless. You are more capable to restore us and make us strong, firm, and steadfast. Although our heart and flesh will fail, you are the strength of our heart and our portion forever. With you, we will lack no good thing. We can do all things and our lives will always be worth living. Thank you that we can delight in our weaknesses or when we are insulted because of you. Even when we are in hardships because, in those times, your grace is sufficient for us. We can forever trust in you because you are a faithful God. You are powerful and big enough to protect us from the evil one. In Jesus' name, I give thanks. Amen, Heavenly Father. I pray that we will love you before everything, with all our heart, passionately, all our soul, willfully, all our mind, thoughtfully, and all our strength, practically, live like you. Let that love show in our words and deeds. I thank you that you are our provider, so we can ask you for our daily needs. Nothing is too small or too large for you. Nothing is too difficult or easy. Distance is not a problem for you, nor heights and no hearts can withstand you because your word is alive and living, full of energy, active and effective. It is sharp like a double-edged sword. Father, help us to give what we ought to give to you and people we encounter every day, like family, close friends, or friends on social media. Help us to prioritize you in every area of our lives above ourselves, our wants, and our needs, because you provide for them all according to what is best for us. And when it comes to love, Father, cause we all, I need it. Help us to love as you did, sacrificially and eternally. Love that is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast, nor arrogant or rude. Love that does not insist on its own way, either irritable or resentful, and does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Help us to serve others unselfishly and be willing to serve as Jesus did. And lastly, let us our lives proclaim you the good news. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, Jesus, the great physician. 
I worship you today for you are the God who forgives all sins and heals all our diseases. Jesus, our family has been facing attacks from the enemy in the form of sickness and disease. Your word says that by your stripes we are healed. We come against every attack from the camp of the enemy, and we command every sickness and disease to dry up by its roots. Heal us, dear Jesus, and we shall be healed, for you are the one we praise. I pray for healing, wholeness, and restoration for every member of this family. In your merciful name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, thank you for your love and presence in my life. Thank you also for giving me another opportunity to be filled with your light, understanding, and peace. Father, your presence in my life brightens my whole being, my mind, my heart, and my soul. With you at my side, I feel that my life is worth living despite the roadblocks and struggles on the way. Father, I beg you to bless me with peace of mind and remove those noises inside me that disturb my focus, my motivation, and my productivity. Father, keep my heart always on fire by your Spirit that I may persevere and easily bounce back in life in the midst of setbacks and difficulties that I am meeting on the road of life. In Jesus' name, amen. Omnipresent Lord, thank you for the gift and breath of life this day. Thank you for giving your children a place to lay our heads. Others have no place to sleep at night. Please remember them. I pray for your peace and love in my home today. Please be our surveillance in this house 24-7. Protect us from any evil invasion in this house, my Lord. Let us sleep peacefully and not worry about the enemy. We commit this house into your care, dear Lord. Send your angels to be our guards in every room in this house. Let the walls in this house be as strong as metal, dear Lord. Let your defensive spirit be our soldier in this house. Even when nobody is home, we invite you to stay in this house. Grant us your protective chand and shield us from all evil. Thank you for answering our prayer, dear Lord. Amen. Dear Lord, I come before your throne today, not to ask for anything, but to simply say, thank you. Thank you for the gift of life and the lives of my family. Thank you for my job and for all the food you provide for us. Thank you for your strength and the health you've given us. Thank you for giving us a place to lay our heads. We are truly grateful, Lord. Thank you for your traveling mercies. For being our shepherd through dark times, we want to say thank you. For saving us from our own traps, we say thank you. For saving us from the traps of our enemies, we thank you. We give you all the glory and adoration for all that you do for us. I am humbled by your grace and your everlasting love for me. Thank you, dear Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done for me. Forgive me of all my sins. Heal me from the hurts from the past and present. I love you and need you to cover me with your precious and holy blood, my family, my friends, my loved ones. Give me your blessings, Lord. Guide, comfort, and protect everyone that seeks you, needs you, and believes in you. If you love God and you are not ashamed of Him, put this on your wall for a day and you will see what He will do. Dear God, I surrender everything to you tonight, including my family, my career, and my life. Lord, thank you for keeping my family safe throughout the day. Before this day, I'm giving you all my worries and problems. I cannot handle this alone and I need your help. I need your divine intervention. Father God, as we prepare for bed tonight, may you embrace us with healing and protection. Please don't forget those people who are struggling physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, and spiritually. 
I pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear God, as the day comes to an end, I thank you for your presence with me throughout the day. Thank you for your guidance, protection, and blessings. As I prepare to sleep, I ask for your continued watch over me and my loved ones. Help us to rest in your loving care and to wake up refreshed and ready to face a new day. Forgive me for any shortcomings or mistakes today and help me to grow and learn from them. Thank you for your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. O Lord and Vivifier, your grace has achieved for us all that you had spoken and promised. Grant us access to the place of your peace, for you are our vivifier, you are our counselor, you are our life remedy, you are our standard of victory. Blessed are we, O Lord, because we have known you. Blessed are we, because we have believed in you. Blessed are we, because we bear your wounds and the sign of your blood on our continences. Blessed are we, because you are our great hope. Blessed are we, because you are our God forever. Lord, teach me through the Holy Spirit to practice your peace. Let an indicator go off in my mind to remind me to activate your peace through prayers and meditation on your word. Help me, Lord. Be conscious of your peace and self-control in my emotions. In Jesus' name, amen. As a result of your ministry, they will give glory to God. For your generosity to them and to all believers will prove that you are obedient to the good news of Christ, and they will pray for you with deep affection because of the overflowing grace God has given to you. Thank God for this gift too wonderful for words, said 2 Corinthians 9, 13, 15. You can't do everything. Try as you might, regardless of how devoted you are to God and His kingdom, you can't do everything. God knew that, and in His grace He made you a member of His family so you don't have to do it all. You have a family working together to do His work. You have your role in helping others learn of Him and other pew pew have different roles. All are necessary. Sometimes your role is to pray for another's ministry. By doing that, you have a part in their service to God. Sometimes your role is to give financially so that their work in sharing His love can grow. By doing that, you have a part in their ministry. Sometimes your role is to go, have a physical role in another's ministry. In the same way, Others pray for you and your specific ministry. Sometimes they give finances to help you. Other times they will join in with you to physically do the work. Thank God that you are a part of His family and that you are able to share in the bigger picture of His work because of your association with others. The Lord went ahead of them. He guided them during the day with a pillar of cloud, and He provided light at night with a pillar of fire. This allowed them to travel by day or by night, and the Lord did not remove the pillar of cloud or pillar of fire from its place in front of the people. Exodus 13.21-22 The Israelites had been slaves in Egypt for years and years when Moses told them to pack up because they were leaving. God did amazing miracles to convince the Pharaoh to let them go. The last one cost every Egyptian family the life of their firstborn. Tough stuff. So when Pharaoh told them to go, and thousands of Israelites started marching, were they afraid? Were they nervous that he would change his mind and send his army after them? God knew their angel Edi. He planned a way for them to know that He was with them every step of the way. The pillar of cloud in the day and pillar of fire at night proved to them in a tangible way that God's presence was with them. Have you ever wished for a tangible presence or word from God, a cloud pillar or handwriting on the wall? 
you actually have something better. God, in His grace-filled love, gave you the Holy Spirit. He lives in you as a constant reminder of God's presence. He directs your path as the pillar of cloud and fire did in the Exodus. Your God who loves you never leaves you. Do you know who is speaking in this verse? What will you find if you search? Wisdom, which you know is God, because God is wisdom. The thing is that God wants you to be wise. With wisdom you will make good choices. You will see the big picture of how your individual decisions and actions play into all of life. In fact, you will see how they affect not just your life but those around you too. All of Proverbs 8 talks about the characteristics of wisdom, wholesomeness, good judgment, truth, understanding, and something more valuable than gold or silver. Since it's so important, God prom that you can find wisdom if you honestly search for it. A prerequisite for finding it is loving God. His wisdom is a gift for those who love Him. Submit your heart to God in love and ask Him to give you His wisdom. Incorporate His wisdom into your heart and life. Live by its guidelines and it will make your life with those around you kinder and more compassionate. God's wisdom is a gift of grace. Our Father, we are so grateful that you are the God of redemption. We thank you for transforming what was dark and wrong into things that have been purified and restored for your glory. We think of the stories of Moses, David, Rahab, Judah, and Paul, and we see how you forgive, cleanse, change, and renew. We're told that all that is written in your word is to encourage us and give us hope, and their stories help us to remember that no one is ever too lost to find you. No one's past is so dark that you can't use them. You see in us what no one else can. You see the good. You see the potential. You see the hope. You see what is possible through you. You are the God who loves those that society would shun. You are the God of second chances. You are the God that takes what the devil meant for harm and you transform it into something good, something that brings you glory. Thank you, Father, for taking our sins and our failings and washing us clean in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for clothing us with your righteousness. Thank you for taking our brokenness and pain and transforming it into something that has purpose and beauty. We may not see that now, but what you did before with your beloved children, you still do. Thank you for your mercy and amazing grace. We thank you for the unseen things you are doing in our lives. May stories of redemption prompt us to faithfully lift our loved ones in prayer and to not give up on them. You do what no man can do. We look forward with excited anticipation for the things you are working in our lives and the lives of those we love. May our faith grow stronger and more anchored in you as remember that you promise to complete the work that you have begun in us. With gratitude, we pray today, in the name of Jesus, Amen. In the name of Jesus, I take authority and I bind all powers and forces in the air, in the ground, in the water, in the underground, in the netherworld, in nature, and in fire. You are the Lord over the entire universe, and I give you the glory for your creation. In your name I bind all demon forces that have come against us and our families, and I seal all of us in the protection of your precious blood that was shed for us on the cross. In the name of Jesus, I bind and command all the powers and forces of evil to depart right now, away from us, our homes and our lands, and I cast you to the foot of the cross to remain there forever. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for you are a faithful and compassionate God. Mary, our mother. We seek your protection and intercession with the sacred heart of Jesus for us and our families, and surround us with your mantle of love to discourage the enemy. 
Saint Michael and our guardian angels come defend us and our families in battle against all the evil ones that roam the earth. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, the older we get, the harder life seems to get. We face more health, challenges. We see those we love decline in their health. We start losing more and more people that we love. At times we are faced with responsibilities and hard decisions that come with age where there are no good options, yet we are required to make a choice. Lord, for everyone who is facing difficult decisions, for those who are in hard situations, we ask that they would hear your voice clearly. Give them peace and courage. May they feel your comforting presence and may they be assured that you are with them and will continue to be with them in all that lies ahead. May they find support, encouragement, and understanding from others. Sometimes people just don't understand what is involved behind the scenes. They don't have all the facts. They don't know the things that we know. Sometimes they just don't agree. Sometimes they judge wrongly. Often they don't see the pain and heartache that is involved in the decisions and choices that are being made. May everyone who is in that difficult and sometimes lonely place find your wisdom and comfort. Please be their shield when they are met with rebuke, rejection, anger, or silence. You alone know everything about each of us. One day, we will all see clearly the times we misjudged, the times we took things wrong, the times we misunderstood someone's intentions, the times our perceptions were clouded by pain, depression, guilt, or our own life experiences. Help us to have more patience, grace, sympathy, and empathy towards others especially if we can't begin to relate to the things they are dealing with. Subscribe to our channel to help us reach 2,000 subscribers. Share this video to your loved ones. Donate us. Super thanks to support us. Type Amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.